Uh, so again, not the ideal load from the car battery, which is high current. I've used this uh, simple little voltage regulator that I sort of woke up at 5 a.m. and built. Uh, that's a 40 volt cap, 1000 microfarads or UF. Uh, got a resistor. Um, It's got 206-044, 47R, 5% M+. Plus. Yeah. Uh, with the pots, this is a 100k pot. You could really do with a 10k pot. Uh, that restricts the flow of the battery. Because the, again, negative to negative, sorry. Negative to negative charges the battery. She's over at the, um, she's, she's out. Negative to negative charges the battery, the resistor and pot um, discharges the capacitor at a rate, and at that rate, the current flows uh, back out to the motor this time round. I got three capacitors, uh, 40, 470 microfarads, 25 volts, in all in parallel. Uh, running to the motor. Um, I found that with parallel, maybe one of my capacitors is about to explode, I don't know, it looks a bit funny. But uh, a capacitor in parallel, when the negative of the battery or source is connected to the negative of the capacitor, that actually halves the volts. So just by putting a capacitor, no, sorry, um, putting a capacitor in series, with a source, half the volts. Uh, that's what you need to do. So, yeah, uh, capacitor in series, half the volts where the n positive of the, no, the negative of the output, of the capacitor goes to the the sort well wherever you want it to go to, like the the motor in this case, and uh, that will work. So. Um, the capacitors in parallel here are doing their part. So if I pull this wire off and bypass the ca capacitors, that's coming directly from the voltage regulator, which is that there. With the capacitors. They further reduce the voltage. And I get funny readings sometimes. I'm just reading 11, but apparently there's not 11 across it. Oh, 12 volt, yeah. I guess it's just a weight short tape. But it's me and my dodgy wiring as usual. <sighs> it worked off camera. Um, this is apparently reading 9 volts across the motor, which obviously that makes sense. As usual, oh, I found a switch. I also got loose wiring on the bottom of the motor. That's annoying. No, let's come off again. After all this time, it wants to play up now. Ah. Right, with the capacitors in parallel. Hold the thing on a wire. But with the capacitors in parallel across the, this motor, the charge builds up, builds up, and builds up until it uh, levels off to an amount, which is, I think, actually a quarter of this. Hard to, you know, I was going to explain all this easily, but I've, as usual, do it on camera, it goes all wrong. That's a 307. Yep. So the these diodes, uh, capacitors in parallel, 
regulate the flow of this, the 470 microfarad, 25 volt. And they you know, steadily build up the charge because the resistance uh, stops the current from easily flowing out. So the charge builds up in the capacitors until they are level with what they can push out to what the motor requires needed to move it. And as I say, that's a very simple voltage regulator. And as you saw, it's putting out a lot more power than what's going to this uh, this motor over here because these ones slow it down. Uh, so I'm going to bypass the regulator, simply pull it off, and show you that. Uh, right, this is 12 volt battery. I'm going to put that there. Right, the motor's going to actually run, but it's going to show 12 volt. You see, 12 volt, and that's what it does. These capacitors simply in parallel of each other. Look at that. Right now some of these capacitors are damaged because uh, it was high current I was putting through them and it's meant to be a high voltage low current. So that's what they're only reading it for. But again these are having the property of uh, the voltage building up as you can see, nice and steadily, although that could be the capacitors failing slowly. So if you want, um, if you've got high voltage, low current, put capacitors in series, positive to negative, with the load, because the load completes the circuit, and that will give you your half the voltage output and the capacitors collect the charge and they feed it out in parallel with the reduced voltage across the load. But if you want to build a little ultra ultra simple voltage regulator and current well a regulator I said for current as well. That's all it is. Bit scrambled on the wire, and if I turn around, maybe I've got better lights. No, I don't. But that yellow wire is connecting the far right to the middle, that's all. The middle one goes to the resistor, and the resistor goes to the negative of the capacitor. And the positive of the capacitor goes to the far left of the connection. And the far left one is the output. So yeah, um, that's what we've been messing with all day, trying different capacitors, different circuits. So if you, again, I'll repeat myself yet again, if you want to increase your current and reduce your voltage, put capacitors in parallel and connect that in series with your circuit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not brilliant at explaining stuff. Alright, and uh, that's what I found out today. Have a nice day for the rest of it. I'll see you later.